All right, here we are at the front door. Um, as we walk into the house, there is a half wall right here in front. And then the rock finish matches the fireplace over there. A little bit of a step down, just to give you the, the full view here. Stand, it looks like they're going to replace the front door. Because the door itself is pretty, it looks like the original door from when the house was built in the 70s. And they've just painted it. And over here is the master suite. So we'll go in there in a minute. But first, I'm going to walk through the living room for you. Um, yeah, I mean, the fireplace is grand because it's tall and it's finished out well. And they've changed the beaming on the ceiling, it looks like, from the 70s style with the exposed beams. Here's the kitchen. It's kind of a rusty brown color. It almost matches the cabinets. You know, that you like the gray and white cabinets. Um, these are good quality cabinets. So, and you've got a gas stove here with a range hood. Let's see what's in this door. Okay, so, the, this is something that I did not see listed. This was the garage, and they have converted it, but they will convert it back um, if requested before closing. So, what they've got in here right now, I guess, is a storage space. Maybe this is where they keep their dogs. I don't know. And uh, then this door right here leads to the garage door that raises and lowers. There's no light in that section. So, kind of strange. Right now they've got it as trash can storage. And this storage slash laundry room is pretty big. Through this door, we've got another room that I guess they used as a dining room or something. So basically to convert it back into the garage, you would remove this wall in the middle and then they would remove that wall on the opposite side. And that's where the raise and lower garage doors are. Um, you would end up with a space that was still tiled on the floor if you were to do that, but it would be functional. Um, yeah. So then that leads into this space and this door can be closed to separate if that was back into a garage. This is what they're using as like a little TV room. I'm going to step to the doorway so you can get an idea of the scope of the room. There's no closet in here, so it's not considered a bedroom. It's just a, just a room. <clears throat> and then coat closet. So, um, I'm going to go over towards the fireplace and check out the master. There is a step down into the master. They currently have a king size bed in here, end table, big dresser, TV stand. A lot of furniture, but if the furniture was removed, this room would be good size. And then the bathroom, which is very nicely put together, I think. It's pretty. Um, you've got this big, huge shower, kind of a natural stone, slaty. It's rough finish and there's the floor and this is that big shower like you like we've got a shower head on one side of it and the door that slides back and forth um, behind that door is a locked closet don't know what's in there and then over here we've got a stool room behind this door and then we have double sinks there's light fixtures and here's the other one. So, so far what I'm seeing is that downstairs, this is the only bathroom. So the master bedroom, master bath would be the bath that's accessible by the rest of the downstairs. I'm gonna walk upstairs. The uh, stairway is in three parts. A few steps there, a few steps here, another landing, and a few steps up. Carpet probably could stand to be replaced. They have animals kind of tell it doesn't smell but you can tell from the it needs to be cleaned up a little bit bedroom one got a double bed in here window is nice and big closet's decent size it's not a walk-in or anything but it's decent size and then here's the 
here's the bathroom. They picked nice materials to redo it. That's actual stone, not printed tile. Shower. Ooh, needs some TLC. Yeah. And then it's got built in cabinet and stuff over here. This is the view from up above. That's another agent walking around. She's doing a preview also. And then the other bedroom up here. It's got a queen size bed. And there's the closet. So, one bedroom upstairs, one bedroom downstairs. I'm out. Thank okay. You. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. So they've done some cool things in the remodel. The fact that the garage is converted is going to be. I mean, they said they'll convert it back before closing. If you want that, I don't know if that's something you want to deal with or not. And then it doesn't have the wood floors. It's a nice floor plan. Um, here's the backyard. They've got dogs out there, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go out. But it's a decent sized backyard. It's a little muddy right now, but we've had a lot of rain these past few days. Or past day. <laughs> Looks like they're still working on it. So. There it is. And there's the puppy dog. Too bad it's not a cat. So it's got positives. It's got the gas stove. The bathrooms are remodeled, which is nice. Um, the backsplash in here is is a natural stone, like a white. Um, there you go. So there's possibilities in here. The countertops are, are granite. Um, They've done a lot of work on it. Negatives. The garage is not a garage. There's a uh, master bathroom is the bathroom that would be shared by the uh, whole downstairs. And then as far as having extra living space upstairs, there's just the two bedrooms and one bathroom up there and the, the two bedrooms are pretty small. So I don't know, great pictures. The fireplace is really awesome. So it's kind of up to you if these are things that you are cool with or not. Um, otherwise, I just think that the house needs a good cleaning and then it would show a little bit better. Anyway, there you go.